this is Haley Luttrell, my new, my new favorite artist in the whole wide world, because Haley is the one who came up with this magnificent pirate painting. Can you tell us about that painting? <laughs> well, um, I love pirates. I've always loved pirates, and I love textiles. So the pirate costumes are sort of a combination of, of all those things that I love. And I am not crazy about monkeys, but he needed a monkey instead of a parrot for some reason. It was just... <laughs> I love the monkey. And see how the monkey sees his reflection in the mirror there. And he's it's like he's showing the other monkey his, his golden watch. Yeah. I think this face looks like it was done by one of the old masters. I can't believe all the detail. And for when I first saw this in the, in the gallery, I thought it was a, a G clay, isn't that what you call it, where they, oh, yeah. they print on the canvas and it looks sort of like a painting. And so I asked, I asked Kathy, I said, is that a G clay? She says, no. So I said, are you sure that you she says, I saw her painting it? Mm -hmm. And I, didn't, I just couldn't believe the, all this gorgeous detail. I love it. Uh, and what so was your inspiration? So is that oil or, or acrylics? It's, it's oils, but I start out with a grisaille, sort of a black and white underpainting. And sometimes I'll do that with acrylics just because it's, it's easier to haul around when I'm painting at the gallery and other places. And how long did it take you to do this? Uh, well, at least a month. Like often, <sighs> I, it takes me like, oh, I, I paint so many different paintings at once that I'm not good at keeping track of time. But I know I was working on it for, you know, a month, month and a half. And that's working like eight hours a day or just? Hmm. Off and on, not every day, because I have to let it dry. I do a lot of layering. Because she works on more than one painting at once, Jerry. So yeah, she... yeah, because the oils dry so slow that, that I do a lot of layers, and I'll go in and I'll do part of it and let it dry. And, and you say and your inspiration back. was from a tea, from a, from a monitor? Well, there's, there's a, yeah, there's a pirate festival in England. That was one of the pirates from the festival, and I like to go through and sort of put him in a more realistic background because in the picture I saw of him, there were hundreds of people with, you know, corn dogs and all the festival kind of stuff behind him, and I thought he deserved to be a real pirate in a real jungle setting and with a real monkey. <laughs> so, well, tell, about, tell about the monkey. Yeah, the monkey. Um, well, actually, in the picture, the man had like a little tiny stuffed monkey. And I thought, how cool would it be to have a real monkey, you know? So I looked up a reference for a real monkey, and I changed him around and, and added in a pocket watch because I thought, you know, the perfect companion for a pirate would be a thieving little monkey, you know? <laughs> so, and um, I added in, like, his hand. My um, fiancé will tell you that's his hand because he... He was working third shift and he got up and I stopped him in the kitchen and said, here, hold this while I take a picture so I can have a reference picture of a hand holding a bottle. So, <laughs> so I put a lot of different elements together. Too. But you must have spent hours and hours and hours doing all this detail here. Yeah, I started with the, the black and white, the grisaille, and then I would go back in and layer the different yellows and, and reds. The feather, and the feather is so magnificent. Yeah. I just love it, love it, love it. And are you pleased with the, the lamps, to me, sort of complements the whole thing? It does. It's it's amazing. Just, I'm honored that you have it in your house. Your whole house is amazing. Well, this <laughs> this is what I call the spot of extreme honor. Mm -hmm. And every, every morning, first thing I do when I get up is I come in here and turn this on, turn on the light of the sky, and I enjoy it all during the day. I just love it. It's one of my real treasures. What's your background of art now? Um, I've gone to college off and on for fine art and for graphic design, but I decided to get married and then have kids, and at that point I kind of gave up on trying to paint <clears throat> because I get obsessed when I'm painting, if you can't tell. <laughs> I'm not easy to deal with when I'm painting because that's all <laughs> I want to do, so I, I kind of stopped doing it for about 25 years, wow. and now, just in the past five years, I've gone back to painting. Oh, well, well and I started glad back you with, well, Thank you. I started yeah. back with acrylics, and then, like I said, this was one of my first ventures back into oil paints, and um, it was kind of my breakthrough of, of thinking oh, I could do something with oil paints.
This is the original pirate picture taken at the Brixham Pirate Festival in England. Note that he's got a he's got a toy monkey on his back. See the toy monkey? Now his feathers on his head are not nearly as good as as the ones pictured by the artist. And here is all that intricate pattern on his vest and his, his gun and all that that Haley so beautifully captured. And here is the photo of the baby monkey captured by Natasha Belletta. And this is the composite photo of the monkey on the pirate soldier shoulder and the uh, using the jungle scene from her backyard. And this is what she used to use as her reference for that fabulous painting. 